Come on, water. Let's go. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Let's go. Let's see what y'all got going on. Girl, y'all got. Oh, girl came right on out. Do I need to take these? Somebody pregnant. We got gestation dream. We got. No, we got. Somebody wants to get you pregnant. Ugh. Somebody may be trying to manifest that in. You got the courage to step into the life, but we also got divine matrix. Ugh. If you don't want to get pregnant at the same time, please put a rubber on. If you ain't trying to get nobody pregnant or you don't want no kids at the same time, please put a rubber on, whoever this is. Because somebody may be looking at somebody like a come up. I'm just going to be honest. Or somebody trying to be with you forever. So if you don't want to get have any kids or you ain't trying to be stuck with nobody for forever because this is a stagnant relationship or this somebody that just keep you bound to the old you, please, this is like just take your pussy to go. Take your head to go. Take your wee-wee to go. Take a little dick to go. That's all I'm going to say because it's not that serious. We're a minute in. All right, let's go. Last shuffle. All right. Oh, come on, y'all. Somebody left somebody on red and somebody don't know what it is that they want to say. Somebody left somebody on red. Either you sent out one of them long ass paragraphs, whoever this is, and somebody don't know how to respond to this shit though as well. It could have been something that it is that you said that got somebody in a state of confusion and somebody don't know what's the next step that it is that they should take with this relationship. Or this could be an individual though as well. They said, should they start again or should they not? Uh, should they start again or should they go forward with you? This could be somebody that's coming out of marriage or commitment. I don't know. Somebody that don't know. Don't know. The Ace of Pentacles and the King of, I mean, I would say King of Cups. Some of y'all dealing with a Scorpio. Water on water, dealing with water. I like that. All right, come on, Council. First part out. You got lost in space, needed some type of direction. I keep hearing share my word. So whoever this is, though, as well, you may be dealing with somebody, but you made somebody your own, and now you don't know what it is that you're going to do, and now you're bored. Whoever this is, I do kind of feel like if you got obsessive tendencies, though, as well, or you got attachment issues, I think you need to find you something to do. Because whoever this is that you date, know who you're in a relationship with, though, as well, that you're giving your all and all the different types of state of time, that may cause some form of aggravation at this point. They may have you at the point of time where you may want to backtrack and slide and fuck with your exes. Keep in mind, it's going to have to be you. This could be somebody else. And this, you may, I'm just going to be honest, some of y'all may be dealing with somebody where they may be caught up in a two-way love affair. This somebody don't know if they want you or they want another person over as well. This is a of if I can work it out with this person, I'm going to work it out with them. But then if you over here, I guess I'll take you. So I don't like that though. I can see if it was just a game or a state of a competition or may the best man win. But this is kind of like I'm choosing the latter in the state of a situation though as well because one or the other don't work out. Now I may be reading it wrong, but that's how it's coming off across on these cards. Now, we got the Six of Cups, and we also got the Four of Pentacles. That's why I said you're going to have to leave somebody because somebody may just be uh, in the midst of trying to get their ego stroked at this point in time. This can be somebody that like to hold someone to a standard or position and somebody meets them. And whoever this is that meets this individual is basically because it's a status. This could be quo, or this could be uh, they feed into them. But whoever this is, this is a, a six of pentacles type of uh, diagram, like time frame. Somebody doesn't get what it is that they need. Some of y'all may be in a relationship with somebody that was where there may be money home. And that's where y'all two different uh, views don't align because it's kind of like whoever this is, somebody always has to put the bill or pay all these particular things, though, and somebody could be over it because you're starting to see that whoever this is, somebody doesn't know how to balance money or somebody's not good with money. I'm not saying that you can't splurge every now and again, but whoever this is, somebody is not good with it. For some of y'all, you may be dating somebody that may be financially controlling, too, with their four of pentacles, so they like to control people with their money. So you really don't get free range. You really don't get to do certain shit that it is that you need to do and this is where you may be stuck when it comes down to your career aspects your goals when it come down to a certain direction that it is this is the epitome of you do is i say when i tell you to move you'll move so this is kind of like damn i thought we was fucking with each other the whole entire time this can't go on to fuck with you you don't fuck with him and it's kind of like that's why i say you're gonna have to figure it out because it's like uh you and this person when it comes to a state of direction they keep you held up like does it make sense they keep you held up. It's like, baby, it ain't no forward movement with this shit. It ain't no forward movement with this shit. This maybe somebody that criticized y'all the goddamn time that only got something negative to say. 
Anytime they see your ass go up, boom. That's when they got some negative to say. This could be somebody to sit up and shit talk their ex all the goddamn time. It's like, God damn, like you watch this motherfucker, you pay attention to this motherfucker all the goddamn time. Why the fuck? Like, does it make sense, bitch? I'm sitting up here trying to fight for all this goddamn attention with your ass, and you sitting up here saying all this both damn bullshit. Go be with the motherfucker. Like, that's how some of y'all is. You like, go be with the bitch. Some of y'all like, literally go be with the person, because it's really getting on my nerves. Look, we got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Some of somebody keep trying to heal something with a person that it's it's nothing to heal. That's all I got to say. It's nothing to heal. Look, we got Queen of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, the Lovers in Reverse, the Seven of Swords, the Ten of Cups. This might be somebody that deal with somebody that run in and out of their life knows well. They might got a kid with or whoever it is that causes a whole lot of chaos and confusion. That's that dust devil energy. Somebody that uh Every time something go wrong, they can chop it up. They can key key. They got all this drama and shit like that though going on. And then now somebody don't see that this person only come back in them just to have sex or hold some state of position or title. If somebody is jealous of somebody, you gonna see that whoever this is, like when it come down to getting over on their ex, this could be somebody that likes to bad mouth certain people. So the reality is that they put out, it's not real. So it's kind of, you could be sitting there believing all these horrible things about a person. And then once you believe all this negative shit, you kind of find out that this person has been lying on someone the whole entire time when it's really them like they just a little manipulative and psychotic i'm just gonna be honest now we also got ten of pentacles pause we got ten of pentacles we also got two of swords in reverse we got eight of cups in reverse we got page of swords and now some of the thumb Keep up what it is that you're doing though at this state and time. Somebody like to create a whole lot of rumors and gossips and shit like this so people can believe as though you could have somebody around you that's very immature. So this person likes to shine out other people's lights. You hear me say stars can't shine when the sun is out. They shine. The stars don't shine when the sun is out. They shine in your darkest hour. So you may recognize that in an environment though it is where somebody fails you triumph. Does it make sense? So this is where somebody insecurities or immaturities get the best of them though as well. So you may be dealing with an individual. This could be a childhood crush, an old lover, or whoever it is you got a baby with, or you could have had a baby with this person and they lost it. That um they miss whoever this is a baby, they miss see. Like this somebody that's messy. This is the equivalent of I'm just coming around there to see my child. Bitch, you don't want this child. Does it make sense? This somebody that don't want that damn child. Like, I'm just being honest, somebody don't want their child. It's just they just use a reason for the child to keep in contact with whoever the fuck this is just so um, just so they can keep tabs on this individual. Does it make sense? Somebody even may have their child going at the home repeating everything that is is going on. So you probably got to put your foot down with one of your kids because they just repeat the shit and going to go tell certain shit. And it's kind of like, why you constipating what's going on in my household? Oh, mama just got this. Mama just got this. It's like, nah, baby. Pat, you need to be quiet. Like, does it make sense? I don't know what you do with your kids over there, but it's kind of like, you need to shut your damn mouth in this motherfucking house because... Hello. Good night. Now, Scorpio, you got a revelation. This you. You stuck between a rock and a hard place. You don't know if it's a new time or you want to get back out on the dating scene. Dating scene, or you just feel like you're dealing with a whole bunch of pressure at this date and time. I do kind of feel like this could be you, uh, acrobats, anything that requires a push and pull. Physical. That's something that you need to do to get some anger off your body. Push and pull. Push and pull. This may be working out. Bitch, I know I need to go to the gym. This may be working out and stuff like that though as well. Or this could be certain situations again where you may be recognizing that I push you pull when it comes between you and this person. So it may be some tension that may be built up between you and someone else though as well. And you and somebody ain't seeing eye to eye because this is their eye. This is not your eye. So this is where confrontation seems to hit a lot of times though as well because somebody don't never see where it is that you're coming from in most cases or you don't see where it is that they coming from. The where it's kind of like, look, baby, we can just go ahead and wrap this up though as well because it seems like it's just who going to break first? Does it make sense? So you may start to recognize if it's any type of communication, if it's any type of petty games, malice, or certain things over as well. It's like, who's going to break first? Because this give me like, you know how you see them people, where if you watch ASMR and they push them and shit and they wait till it's this may be a person though as well so somebody may be trying to put a whole lot of pressure on you whole expectations a whole lot a lot a lot a lot of where you kind of like bitch these ain't my job requirements and some of y'all gonna recognize them when it comes to this person babe i'm gone i'm not finna do all this bullshit somebody gonna be like babe i'm not finna do all this bullshit you put so much on me babe i can't even motherfucking breathe around your ass some of y'all gonna get out of a relationship with somebody and be around her re-cola that's how some of y'all gonna be baby it's gonna be whew.
That doesn't make sense. The full card in reverse. We also got the um. Oh yeah. Kind of like um. You may understand that once you got a relationship with this person, with this full card in reverse and that five of wands, baby, y'all ain't do nothing but fight anyway. Big girl. It's about uh what they want, what you want, what it is, what it shouldn't be, what's off limit, what's on limits. Baby, this is a dictatorship between you and someone else though as well. This could be the epitome of that somebody in a player player him a later, and this may be somebody where he got a whole lot of options, but baby, he don't want to marry you. And so this somebody that's trying to make somebody marry them. So they just trying to constantly, oh, you should do this and you should I don't like you like that. Like this somebody that's constantly trying to make somebody marry them or something like that though as well. It's like, baby, I don't want to marry you. I don't want to be in relationship. Like, does it make sense if somebody keep trying to force that reality onto somebody and somebody doesn't want to be uh, with the individual at this state and time? And they keep doing this. I might have to pause. Is it on? Okay. But whoever this is, though, as well, this a matter where you hear me say, I tell you, they got a whole lot of options. And this somebody that's going to get the hell out of Dodge. Some of y'all may be dealing with somebody that may be smothering, too, at this day and time. And they, this somebody that's going to leave somebody. Some of y'all, this could be a quick marriage. Some of y'all may got quick married or quickly married to somebody, though, as well, under the guise. So this could have been somebody where it's giving me, like, oh, we went to Vegas and we got married. We had a good night. And somebody finna know that shit, like, extremely fast. Does that make sense? Somebody gonna annoy that bitch. Somebody gonna know that. I'm about to have to move my car. Because I'm gonna need it to calm down over there. So it's kind of like whoever this is, somebody gonna know this just extremely fast. Because this is the reality of what somebody promised them they weren't gonna get. With the reality of what it's like giving me the oh i'm gonna do all this and i'm gonna do all this and i'm gonna do all this and then you give the niggas kind of like where the fuck this shit at like you lied like baby you a liar whoever this is you day baby they like to lie about their capabilities and certain things that it is that they doing this could be somebody lying about what they do for work ah shit damn somebody lying about what they do for work this queen of wands is two of cups like just I mean, I'm trying to focus because my shit over there going crazy. It's kind of like, uh, this somebody that lied about what it is that they do for work and stuff like that, though, as well. Somebody wants you to accept certain things that you are not comfortable with. This could be somebody's sexual lifestyle. This could be certain things that this they want to do. Some of y'all may be dating somebody like to sleep with their friends and stuff like that, though, as well. But they say, we're going to be together and stuff like this. Whoever this is, no. It's either we together or we're not together. Does that make sense? Just because we have two different spiritual beliefs, just because we have two different values when it comes down to a state of approach. Um, that doesn't mean that I want to be a part of whatever reality it is that you got going on. Because we got Knight of Wands. We also got the Chariot card. We also got the Judgment card in reverse, the Five of Cups, and the Two of Pentacles. This could be a situation that's just not going to work out. And some of y'all need to accept it. This somebody that has been married before, whoever this is, you remind them of their old partner. And this somebody that do not want to tell you this though as well. So it's kind of like they may take the casual sex between you and them. But this somebody that may not want to go forward with you when it comes down to a state of a marriage. Because this is the epitome of I've been there, done that. And I would have said they was wrong, but the judgment card is in reverse. And so this somebody where they see a situation that is spiraling out of hand like extremely fast. Does that make sense though as well to the point where it's kind of like this shit not going to work. It's the equivalent of like, oh, we're going to put all these um, mementos in here. We're going to put styrofoam and we're going to do this. And then we're going to pull the coke on and we're going to run. Somebody didn't expect the situation to go boom as fast as it did though. And it just blew back up in somebody's face. So that's why somebody, somebody's trying to prevent this. Somebody's trying to prevent this from happening, but it's like there's no state of communication with y'all. We don't see no source. You and somebody else, y'all not communicating. It's just fucking an emotion. Fucking an emotion is just passion. Passion and money and passion. It's like, what are, what conversations are y'all having? This could be my ex, my ex, my ex, my ex. But it's like, what the fuck? Like, does it make sense? Where is the solution when it comes down to a state of a situation? But again, if somebody's trying to get married at this point in time, I do feel like that if you're trying to force that onto somebody, somebody do not want to marry you because you remind them of an old person. Somebody has been married before. This may be once or twice. You may be dating somebody that could have been married once or twice. Uh, could have been a multitude of times, but this somebody like you just remind me. Like I just keep hearing Usher, you remind me of a girl. And whoever this is, they feel like this situation is karmic. 
Now, some of y'all, y'all just got something with spirituality and different natures and stuff like that, though, as well. This could be a realization where you may be understanding that, bitch. I see how certain shit get left with the people that did what I did, baby, because all these people right more for me. Should I keep around here expanding, 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 and keep trying to be more for this motherfucker that, bitch, I ain't getting more bang for my buck? I ain't getting what it is that I need out of something. Now, who is this? Pisces. You got new beginnings. What is this? Is this on a day you've seen or this prospects? Somebody may be feeling like they're overloaded by work, so you ain't getting out. Whoever this is, you may be like in the energy of where you don't want to settle down, but you just taking, like you just flirting with certain people and stuff like that, that was well concealing your intentions. This could be somebody to where you may be dating somebody that may underestimate the way they look, or you may be underestimating somebody that looked up as well. Because this could be somebody that cleaned up really nice. I'm just going to be this is somebody that cleaned up like really nice. And whoever this is, they got like a whole lot of shit going on in their life that was well at this point in time that people really don't see them. So you may be having people that's like, hey, little mama, hey, little daddy, constantly trying to like whisper in your ear and tell you all these different types of things as well because somebody been constantly been so bogged down by pressure. This could have been somebody's solar plex that was blocked too massively though as well because of... I'm hearing somebody got a bouncing baby boy, but um, it's kind of like whoever this is, like somebody was so weighed down and there's a pregnancy as a boy. But it's kind of like whoever this is, sorry if you was looking for a girl. But whoever this is, it's kind of like um, I heard third time's a charm. So it's a boy. It's like whoever this is, though, um, somebody's solar place had been blocked for so long. You could have felt like you was contemplated sometime, though. But whoever this is, this just the epitome of when you lack confidence. You let confidence in certain areas and you allow your partners, people, places, and things outshine you so goddamn much to the point to where it's kind of like, it's just like, hey, it's kind of like the cool girl walks in and, you know, be able to say a tomboy turn into a girl, like, does it make sense? It's like that type of energy and they come to the party and um, it's like the girl from uh, Wednesday, the Adams family, Wednesday to where she came to the party and everybody just looked like... <gasps> Like, it's giving me, like, that type of energy that was well to where it's kind of like people starting to notice you. Does that make sense? Notice you. Notice someone. This may be somebody who you got your eyes on. That may make you a little jealous, too. I'm just going to go somebody make somebody jealous because somebody got their eyes on a person who you could have been eyeballing. Like, some of y'all eyeballing somebody, somebody eyeballing you, though, as well. And this could be somebody that see your potential. And, bitch, this making somebody mad because they kind of like, like, does it make sense? This somebody that's like, what the fuck you looking at them for? kind of like, mm -hmm. and everybody else looking at them like this. Some of y'all may start telling this person about their dating life, or somebody may start telling you about your dating life unbeknownst to you uh, because uh, they see certain people don't have great intentions with you. So again, if you got this person in the friend zone, I think you should probably listen to a little advice because the way they see certain people and certain individuals that's coming after you that's looking at you like for a come up or a book, somebody's telling you the truth because everybody who's coming in, they don't mean you well. Some people do not mean you well. We got the Sun card in reverse, the Eight of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, the Death card in reverse, um, the Five of Cups, the King of Pentacles, and the Seven of Pentacles. That's why I said some of y'all feel like y'all stuck in a rut when it comes down to somebody. Some of y'all mean the same old, same old motherfuckers. If you say you want somebody that's getting money, you mean motherfuckers that look like they doing shit, but they really ain't doing shit, and these motherfuckers don't want to work. Y'all do with motherfuckers who lazy. They spiritual lazy and they financial lazy. These people that don't want to do shit to get no motherfucking money. They'll do just enough. Now, if it ain't no money, it's a relationship. Get somebody that come in, whine and dine you and shit like that, though. It may go do a little sex at nine and again. Try to hold you up. The shit don't go nowhere. It goes to the mass capacity that it is that it go. And then at this point in time, it's like, what do I get out of this next? Or so maybe the type of meal that it is that you dating. Because we do got the king of pentacles. Some of y'all may be like men with money. Y'all may like niggas with a big check. And that's what you may be understanding. Niggas with a big check and a big dick ain't really got much to offer for you. So you may got to start going in a whole nother lane. Because it's like if you do got too much money, you date niggas that don't want to work. If you financially stable, they don't want to work. They feel like, oh, I want to come to your crib. I want to lay up in your house. I want to do this. Does it make sense? Or I want to come around you. It's like the polar opposite. Like somebody ain't getting balanced out. Now. We also got the Lovers card in reverse, the Knight of Cups. We also got um, 
the Four of Cups, the High Priestess. We also got the Hermit card in reverse and the Chariot. Now, on the flip side here, somebody going to cheat and somebody, I don't want to talk about this. Y'all could be dealing with somebody in a relationship or you could be dealing with somebody that's very immature. And somebody like to play with their health just a little bit too much. Somebody like to take STDs serious. And this could be somebody, oh, it's curable, it's curable. Some of y'all like, I don't give a fuck if it's curable. You may be dating somebody that do not care about their sexual status. This could be somebody that like to lay down with anybody. Some of y'all just may be a little outbreak. I'm just going to be honest. Some of y'all may be mad about that though as well when you're dealing with this individual because like, um, this is somebody that's mischievous when it comes to sex. They got a lot of mischievous deeds. This lover's card, this is somebody that don't care who they have sex with. So this will be somebody that go both ways uh, when it come down to anything or they sexual explorative aspects is kind of like uh you could have told me that you know we got you know you think you dating that you don't think somebody just having sex with you but it's kind of like you don't protect yourself and you're trying to get me to take the rope off what type of shit this is so some of y'all really gonna have to ask somebody these questions though as well because um it's certain individuals that's just not right they just not right and some of y'all may be looking for some state of guidance when it comes down to that if you got family members if you got cousin face in your life i will be quiet because cousin faith may be trying to fuck your man and uh so you don't need to go talk to her about anything that's going on because she gonna give you some bad advice and tell you that you made the wrong choice in the whole entire time she been fucking your man does that make sense so yeah i'm gonna just keep it to myself so you may not have the general support that it is that you need from certain individuals at this same time because um they don't. If you're regretting by listening to someone and you could have went feel forward with somebody, I do think some of y'all feeling like you, you're dealing with a uh, a massive slap in the face. I do feel like that some of y'all dealing with a kick to the face. And I'm not talking about like you kick somebody's face. It feels like that because you listen to somebody when it came down to your dating life and your opportunities and now you see somebody glowing and growing. Somebody may be a cop. Um, somebody could be a cop, they could be an investigator, this could be a spiritualist, whatever it is, somebody is starting to grow. And it's like at the same time, you wish you never would have listened to them. So you got a little bit of case of the ex going on at this same time. And whoever this is, you may be trying to settle. I'm just going to be honest, you or this person may be trying to settle because the way you move and groove it, you may be trying to just, I'm going to just go and slide in and do a little fucking. And it's kind of like at this time, you're doing yourself a disservice because you really want more from this person than sex. So I don't know what to tell you. Sorry if they fuck with my aesthetics and they're trying to make me look better. But it's all right. <laughs> Doesn't make sense.